Welcome to this tutorial on how to add new Microsoft Outlook emails into Google Sheets automatically. Guys, as professionals, we often receive a large number of emails with some important information in them. And manually keeping the track of all those emails can be a daunting task. But with the help of Google Sheets and a few easy steps, you can easily transfer new incoming emails from Microsoft Outlook to a designated spreadsheet in Google Sheets and that way you can manage and organize your emails in a central location. So in this video, I'm going to show you the steps of setting up this automation using a no code tool known as Pabli Connect. So let's begin. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and you can find the same link in the description as well. And from the description, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So sign up right now, guys. And after that, sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard like this. From here, you have to click on the screen workflow button. And here you have to provide a suitable name to this workflow and then click on create button. So I have given the name here as MS Outlook to Google Sheets and now I am clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here and on this page guys you will see these two modules the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things we are going to set up this automation workflow. Trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here, when you click on this trigger, it will ask to choose the trigger application. So Microsoft Outlook will be our trigger application and Google Sheets would be the action application. OK, so here, guys, I'm going to search for Microsoft. Here you can see Microsoft 365. You have to select this Outlook as a part of 365 package. Trigger event would be new email. Then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Microsoft 365. And then it will, it might bring you to the login window. Uh, if you're not logged in, I'm just selecting my account. I have already logged in in Microsoft. And here it will ask you to provide some additional access to your account. So from here, you have to click on yes and provide the access to Pabli Connect and you will be connected with Microsoft Outlook in a few moments. You can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected. And guys, we have the save and send test request button. By clicking on it, you can fetch the data of a most recent email that you have received in the inbox. So this is my email inbox, you can see. And the last email I have received is this one from AVN Business and the subject is testing and automation, okay? This was the email I have received uh, recently. This was the last email. So let me click on save and send test request and see if we receive the data. And here you can see guys, we have received the, received the data of our email. And here you can see the subject testing and automation. This was the same subject here, right? And here you can see the date on which we have received, the address from which we have received the uh, email addresses, uh, sorry, of, uh, the name from where I have received the email is here, the email address is here, and all the things are here, okay? And you can see in the body preview label, the content of the email is also here, okay? This is the same content. Now guys, I want to save this data inside my spreadsheet, which is here in Google Sheets and here I want to save the name of the person who have sent us the email, the email address, the subject and the message. Right. So here we are going to connect with Google Sheets. Then select the action event as add new row. Then click on connect button. From here select add new connection. Then click on sign in with Google. From this window you have to choose that Google account by which you have created the spreadsheet select the account then you have to provide some additional access to your google account as well so just click on continue from here to provide the access and your sheets will be connected with Pabli connect in the action step okay here you can see and then it will ask to select your spreadsheets name 
so from this drop down you will see the list of all the spreadsheets that you have from here you can see uh, this spreadsheet's name my spreadsheet name is this ms outlook and you can see it is appearing here i am going to select it sheet is auto populated here because i have only one sheet right now and then it will uh, it is asking for the name the address the email subject and the message these are the headers of the columns i have here so guys to bring the data here now uh, i am going to map the data from the previous step from the trigger and i am going to map these labels i have received here in these fields so you just have to click here guys and the previous step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data right here so from here you can just map the name label in the name field map the email label in the email field the subject label in the subject field and the message field you have to map the body preview label here is body preview okay now you can check your connection with google sheets by clicking on save and send test request and this data will be sent to your spreadsheet as the test data here okay let us check i have clicked on save and send test request button this is the response i got let's see in our spreadsheet if we got the data and here you can see we have received the data like this okay so this is how it is going to work guys and you can change the formatting also afterwards and it will work accordingly right okay so this is how it is going to work guys so you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to open this workflow it will work automatically whenever you are going to receive a new email you can see that email saved here inside the spreadsheet automatically okay and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly